Water covers 70% of the Earth's surface, but the vital fresh water, so essential to human life, is only 2.5% of the world's water assets. Bulgaria boasts its beautiful nature, but fails to effectively utilize its water assets. Next to the limited supplies of fresh water, other problems need solving, such as overconsumption, pollution, inadequate purification, and the lack of skilled workforce for the water sector. This hotel near Varna, like many other businesses, is brazenly violating the law. A hidden pipe discharges its wastewaters straight into the sea. Such violations are daily routine and a hazard to people's health and the environment. A nationwide poll on water management in Bulgaria has found that one of the people's major concerns is water quality. Leakages and the obsolete and poorly maintained pipe network are major challenges for the water sector. Water plants are not enough. Another 400 are to be built. Scores of skilled and professionally trained operators will be needed to run them effectively. Improving the water quality is of utmost importance. Ensuring the water supply of the needed quantity and quality for both the people and the industry is one of our top priorities. The construction of purification plants is also an important task for our government. We need 400 of them, and they need to be adequately and competently used in order to be effective. This water plant collects all the household wastewater of Sofia. Here it's processed and purified, and it has to be clear as mountain spring before it's infused into the Vladia River before it's used by local farmers for watering their produce. Because the harvest ends up in the Sofia marketplaces and on our tables, so we trust our health in this water plant. How well the water is purified depends on both the equipment and the skills of the wastewater operators. Stokio Kolov has worked in this plant for 20 years and has never been in any staff training. The National Association on Water Quality in Bulgaria decided to fill an empty niche by establishing a training center for water and wastewater operators based on the U.S. experience. The key thing is that we have no training facility for the people who work in the water sector, especially the ones in water purification and water and sewage network maintenance. The future training center will bring us up to date. For 15 years of transition, the first step has been made. Water plants will be better managed businesses, well-trained staff will better care for the equipment, the plants will be more cost-effective, less capital investment will be needed. Wastewater requirements will be followed more closely and will better preserve our water basins. When we train our own workforce for the water plants and network maintenance, we raise the sector culture. There will be no getting around the regulations and people will have guaranteed water quality. There are two reasons for us to turn to Delaware Tech. One, we've had long cooperated with them. And second, we know very well the quality of the training they provide in America. We're lucky they agreed to share their expertise and bring it to Bulgaria. U.S. government funds were allocated to this initiative upheld by the U.S. aid mission in Bulgaria. In February 2004, at a seminar in Sofia, a presentation was given by the training center of Delaware Technical and Community College. Four months later, U.S. Ambassador to Bulgaria, James Pardew, broke the big news. Today uh, is a special day because we recognize a new initiative of the United States Agency for International Development, represented here today by Devin McFarland and Dave Lieberman and others. And this is the establishment of the first water and wastewater operators training center 
in Bulgaria. Bulgaria possesses a vital strategic resource in its bountiful water supply. This is a strategic asset that I'm not sure is fully appreciated. It certainly is appreciated in those places where water is a uh, limited asset. The pilot project which we initiate today will improve Bulgaria's ability to better manage this valuable resource and contribute to the overall uh, national development goal. A few years ago, engineers uh, from the Bulgarian National Association on Water Quality visited an operator training center in the United States and, and were introduced to successful practice for water um, quality used at the Delaware Technical and Community College. This was the beginning of a joint effort to develop operator training as a key component for ensuring a level of service in the water sector that Bulgarian citizens can rely upon. The initiative to provide training to water operators was welcomed by both the government and the legislators. It is my pleasure as the chair of the Parliamentary Committee on the Environment and Water and on all my colleagues' behalf to support this initiative as it nears its successful realization. I would like to thank our colleagues, friends and partners in America for all their help for the launch of the Water Operators Training Center. It's true that Bulgaria's nature is beautiful, but our water assets regretfully are not of the highest quality. It is imperative that we put an even stronger effort to better manage what nature has bestowed upon us. Provided the state of the water sector, what's ahead of us is of utmost importance for the country. This allows us to better appreciate the help we're receiving. As a member of the Bulgarian Parliament, I've discussed the legislative issues with many of today's participants. We share a commitment to provide the needed legislative framework for the most effective management, operation and regulation of the water sector. I believe that our joint efforts will take us to the desired goals and the people and guests of Bulgaria will have good and clean water. To me, this is a very worthy initiative. I believe the administration will live up to it and will commit the needed regulatory effort. I like the idea of certifying all water operators. The training of the water sector employees is vital. This water operators training will help Bulgaria meet the European water sector standards which will become mandatory after 2007. The need of training is appreciated not only by the administration. All the sector employees insist on specialized training and qualification courses. I'm honored to witness an initiative of USAID and the U.S. Embassy in Sofia helping the National Association on Water Quality establish and launch a local water operators training center. I wish I could call it timely, but sadly it's 10 to 15 years late. For the last 10 years in Bulgaria, there's been no training for the sector workforce. Regardless of their background and education, the sector employees have been lacking skill improvement programs or on-the-job training. Until now, keeping up with the latest developments in the industry was a matter of every employee's personal attitude and effort. My colleagues and I feared advancement of high technology in our trade, whether it's water supply, sewerage, or purification, was leaving us short of skilled and competent professionals, able to keep up with technological progress. At an international business forum in Sofia, headlined Investment in the Environment for a Better Quality of Life, European and American companies shared their approaches and expertise. They showed how flexible education and the availability of skill improvement programs contribute to the protection of the environment and the quality of life. The education and putting out to all companies that uh, education is a, is a necessity. It's down to the fact that can we not afford to train? 
basically, yeah. Jerry Williams, department chair at the Delaware Environmental Training Center, believes in offering not only academic grounding, but also practical and technical assistance for the employed in the environment sectors. The Delaware Training Center puts its trainees in an actual plant simulation. The U.S. federal law requires that all water operators be trained and certified. We'll pump the water into a grid system or a collection system located in the floor. It's a closed system that comes back and empties into the pit. Program manager Carla Stone delivered presentations in Sophia, Roos, and Varna. No matter what happens to us in life, the one thing we never lose is our education. It was true when Benjamin Franklin, a key figure of the American Revolution and a famous scientist and inventor said, if a man empties his purse into his head, no one can take it away from him. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. And so it is true today. And so it is with environmental education. We have actually trained over 10,000 people and we train not only from Delaware, but from surrounding states. For instance, the city of Philadelphia, which is a major metropolitan area of several million people, has come to Delaware Tech to train their wastewater operators. Most universities do not train people who actually work in the plants. They train the designers. They're training the engineering graduates. For instance, I'm an engineering graduate with graduate degrees in engineering. And we do not learn as engineers how to actually turn the valves and operate all the plants unless we happen to go to a university that sends us on practical training. The kind of training we do is, we do university level training, also college training. However, the kind of training we're, opera we're offering to operators is the practical training. These people may never have been to university, may never have been to college, may never have even finished high school training, and we bring them up through our training to the level where they are able to operate the plant safely and in an environmentally sound manner. The water purification plant in Varna has undergone extensive upgrades with Danish support and expertise. This motivates the operators employed there to seek training and increase their skills. They know they need to keep up with the advancement of technology. <laughs> I need to be trained because the equipment I work with changes almost daily. We're replacing some of the appliances. Compression pumps are being upgraded. The way the whole plant works is changing. The new equipment demands new skills. Soon, the plant may become fully computerized. When the new equipment was delivered, the Danes taught us how to work with it. We took examinations to graduate from their training program. But work here is very specific. A university degree does not guarantee the new employee has sufficient skills to work in water purification. Practical training is absolutely necessary. The Delaware Training Center can offer its Bulgarian partners customized programs in control and monitoring, wastewater management, equipment enhancement, energy effectiveness, mechanical and technical failures, prevention and maintenance, city planning and network modeling, laboratory analysis, prevention of pollution, capital costs and operations planning, as well as many more courses and programs. Being involved in international projects enables Delaware Tech to bring the ideals of the community college, educational access, opportunity, and hope to our partners in other countries. Through these partnerships, we are able to promote economic development, as well as foster global understanding and a shared commitment to excellence. We are all citizens of the world and share common needs across cultures. Delaware Tech's national reputation of excellence in the area of water and wastewater training puts the college in a position to serve as an international agent of change for countries facing these challenges. The college's Environmental Training Center 
has trained over 10,000 people and been credited by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency with being directly responsible for improving the quality of the environment in our state. Bulgarian officials requested our help and the United States Agency for International Development provided the necessary funds to help Bulgaria attain their future goal for a cleaner environment. The project to launch a local water operators training center is funded by USAID. 900,000 US dollars is needed for its successful realization. Our initial grant from USAID the cooperative agreement is for 300,000 U.S. dollars. Uh, there are, this covers years one and two, and there are possibilities for an extra $600,000 depending on the success. The first part, we anticipate the whole project will be 900,000 U.S. dollars. This is an investment in the health of hundreds of thousands of people. French poet Antoine de Saint-Exupéry once said that water is life, but only clean water can guarantee our health and quality of life.